atomism is not the same thing as atomic theory. Atomism is a philosophical position that says that human beings and everything else that exists are reducible to the atoms that make us up. In other words, that atoms are all that really exists and that all the day-to-day -day things of our experience don't have any real ontological status apart from the atoms that make them up. Atomic theory, on the other hand, is a scientific theory about the nature of matter, which says that matter is made up of parts like protons, electrons, and neutrons, which interact with each other in certain predictable patterns in spaces called atoms. Now, what I really want to emphasize here is that these ideas are really separate, so that one being true does not necessarily mean that the other is true. And as far as I understand it, modern science pretty clearly shows that some version of atomic theory must be right. But that doesn't necessarily mean that atomism is true. To say that atoms exist doesn't entail that they're all that makes things what they are, or even that they're the primary thing that makes things what they are. It could be that atoms are just component parts of things, that chairs and dogs and cats really are real, more real even than the atoms that make them up. But this is a philosophical question, one that forms the background of our interpretation of atomic theory and requires us to decide between a bottom-up view of being, where the parts are more fundamental than the whole, or a top-down view of being, where the whole is more important than the parts.